So two things you need to know if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'll respond to each and every one that does. Secondly, you're going to be seeing squares like this throughout the video. This is going to be referencing our printable periodic table that is totally free if you want it. If you're not sure what it is, in a nutshell, it's all the elements a trader should have ranked in order to know what to focus on. If you have not reached all your trading goals, then this is probably a table that you'll want to print out and keep handy so you know what to focus on and I highly recommend checking it out. Just Google XABCD periodic table and you'll be able to get it. Now just going to go place some orders. This is not going to be using our free ATM pack that we showed you in recent videos. I want to show you exactly how to apply these and where to apply the ATMs to automate certain aspects of your trading. That way when you do install the free ATM pack, you can use them with your XABCD patterns or any other strategy and you will be able to understand exactly how to modify these as needed. So we placed this pending order on this particular XABCD pattern and we're just waiting for that to get filled or the plan will be to cancel it. We have done another video on these green, yellow and red zones, but all you need to know about them specifically right now is that the red zone, if we hit it, we will pull this order back and we will cancel it. Once I'm done recording this, I am going to be fast forwarding through the parts that we're just going to be waiting. So you'll see in the top right the words fast forward and we'll try to make it super obvious so you know that that is what's happening. Now a lot of people have requested to see the full video and not just a clip, but I do think a couple hour long video without fast forwarding at least is not very fun to watch. Also, this is a pretty small time frame and personally it's not something that I trade a lot. I do have quite a few things going on with our community, so I can't always have my, my eyes on the screen. It's really important that you are trading the right time frame for you. So if I don't move or place orders exactly when you think I should, this is real life. I might not be in front of my computer screen at the time or have other applications open so I can't see it. I'll try to explain better the point that I do move them in case you do want to be chained to your desk. Looks like we just got filled. Now, as I'm talking, you are going to see these little squares popped up. As I mentioned, these are elements that you need or should be focusing on with your trading. And the yellow ones are things you should basically be avoiding. With that being said, they are all referenced to what we talk about in our periodic table for traders and outlined and discussed for you individually. Now that we are filled, one of the first things you can do is get an ATM template to automatically place your stop. This can be very handy so you don't just have to place them later if you get filled or if you're not around, you don't have to worry about them not being placed to begin with. Now you can use an OCO order instead of an ATM for that function. But an OCO order will not move your stops to break even, and an ATM can do smarter things such as place your stops and targets based off a percentage of risk of your account. Okay, stops are in. So I'm going to use the risk versus reward tool to help me now figure out my target. Now this also could have been done using an ATM with a risk versus reward. So realistically, after placing my pending orders so far, there is nothing I would have had to have done manually. Now 
Now that we've gotten to a certain point in profit, I'm going to move my stop in. But moving my stop in is something I'm going to do in stages. The first stage will be to reduce it in half, and this way, even if I do get stopped out, I'm only going to be losing half of my initial risk. Reducing risk is always the number one goal. Now you can use an ATM that we have as part of our pack that will move your stop up in increments starting when you're in a certain amount of profit. So this would be very handy in this case, especially if you're going to be going to sleep soon or you might have a meeting or perhaps you're working on the job at the same time and you can't focus on that trade. So this will reduce your risk once the trade starts going your way. Now we want to wait. I have three orders coming off at this one target. There are certain situations where this might be where you want to run things a little bit differently and have it be your first target in a series of many that you might be booking your profit. So you're not going to be taking all three off at once, but you'll be scaling out over time. Again, your ATMs can handle this as multiple levels of targets, which is why I'm a big fan of them. Another ATM in the pack will let you actually scale out at the three different levels. And again, feel free to customize those levels as needed. Well, it looks like we finally got filled in another XABC pattern known as the RTP2 popped up. This is a retracement pattern that works good in ranges, but we'll get into that another time. So you see that stop up there? I need to manually close that now. An ATM order would have actually taken care of that and closed out that stop for me too. Well, hopefully you've been able to see what ATMs can do and how they can save you buckets of time by automating part of your trading. Obviously, no coded is needed in order to do these, uh, but there are a number of particulars that you do need to understand about them. And I think using our ATM packets done a good job of kind of putting those together as a base and then you can modify them from there. Any other questions, feel free to toss them in the comments box. I'll be happy to help you and respond to each and every one. We'll see you guys in the next video.